Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Gudetama, the Tricky Egg card game by Renegade Game Studios. In Gudetama, you're playing a trick-taking game, which is essentially drawing a certain number of cards, playing a card down at the same time with all players, and hopefully winning the trick. When you win the trick, you'll get to play again up until the last trick is played, meaning the last card in your hand. But the trick with this game is you do not want to play the highest card on the last trick, because if you do, you'll score that card as points. When you score points in the game, you're going to then rinse and repeat, playing another round, doing trick taking again, and then scoring the final round. Basically, attempting to not get to 21 points, because in this game, it's all about not scoring points on that last round. And once somebody does hit the unfavorable 21 points, the game will end, and whoever has the least amount of points is the winner. Now, because Gudetama is such a simple game, I'm going to explain how to set it up, and of course, how to play all in one go. And how that works is very, very simple. You take the deck of cards out of the box, shuffle it up, and then deal out seven cards to each player. After you've done that, everybody should have their seven cards secretly hidden, and they'll each play one card down, starting with the starting player. You can play any card you want to start the trick off. And then after that, each player will have an option. They can either play, in turn order, a card that is the same or higher value, or they can play a card that is their lowest card in their hand. So if I play a five, somebody can play a 13, and then of course, if somebody has a one or maybe a four that is the lowest card in their hand, they can play that. Once that happens, the player who played the highest card is the winner. Discard those cards, and the winner of the trick is going to be the next player to start the next trick off. And they'll simply play a card from their hand. And then, of course, in turn order, everyone have the option. Play a card that is the lowest in your hand, or play a card that is equal to or higher than the card previously played. Eventually, what's going to happen is players are going to only have one card in hand. So if I was three players, I'd have these three cards in my hand. And the starting player, the player who won the last previous trick, will play down their card. Then the next player will play down their card. And finally, the last player will play theirs. And in this scenario, where you have a 1, 5, and a 13, the player who played the lowest is basically going to be um, the winner of the trick, technically. But the player who had played the highest will score that trick. So the 13 will score, and the other cards are going to be discarded. Now, um, that player is going to have that total cumulative points through round to round, because after the last card is played, the next round will begin. You'll go ahead and shuffle the deck up, and then you're going to deal out those seven cards once again, and uh, continue playing the game. Once somebody hits 21 points, the game is over. That player is lost, and the player that wins is the player who has the least number of points inside their score area. There are a couple exceptions to the rule. When you play a 1 as your last card, each card that was played on the final round will score based on what you played. So if I played a 1, somebody played a 4, somebody played a 5, that person would score their 4, that person would score their 5, and I would score the 1. So a 1's a really good card to play because it makes your opponents have to score higher values, or as opposed to just one player winning the trick, aka losing, everybody's going to have to suffer in some way. Also, if you play a 14 on any given round, if you win with a 14, you can choose another player to lead the round. You never want to lose the 14, but it is possible. And if you do lose with a 14, you're going to score that 14 point value. So try and get rid of the cards in your hand that are the highest in the game. And that's basically the idea of the game. Seven cards, play one at a time. Player who wins the trick is going to be the player who plays next. Continue playing until there's one card left in your hand. Play that card down. Whoever has the highest value scores that. Rinse and repeat until 21 points. The player who has the least amount of points when that happens is the winner of the game, Gudetama, the tricky card game. <laughs> pretty simple, right? So Gudetama is a pretty simple trick-taking game. It plays similar to Hearts, but the difference is your objective is to win the other tricks so that you can play first on the next trick up until the last trick, where you're then going to attempt to lose that trick, thusly playing hopefully the lowest card, and the player who plays the highest card will suffer the consequences, gaining that point value. And continuing from there, always attempting to do the same strategy. How you play cards does matter. You want to be careful on playing low cards. If you can help it, you always want to play higher cards. Try and lead with the 14 so you can make somebody else be able to start. And of course, if you would like, you can always play that one at the very end of the round to make everybody score all their cards, including you, the player who played the one. 
playing a one's never bad though because basically it means that you're playing and scoring the lowest card value and of course it's always not a bad idea if you know somebody has a higher card value in their hand as long as you play a lower than theirs you're not going to have to suffer the consequences at the end of a round and uh, the game is fairly straightforward pretty simple pretty easy pretty easy to explain and understand i can usually teach this game in approximately like two or three minutes and we can get into it if you've never played a trick-taking card game this one is very simple but it has the unique twist of having to play the lowest value card at the very end of the round it actually comes from an older ancient style trick-taking game i believe called cucumber and it's kind of added the theme of gudetama uh, would I play Gudetama again? Uh, it's a fine game. It's not something I'd personally go ahead and pick up, but I did really enjoy the game. I like trick-taking games, and this one is one of simplistic nature. And think, In fact, I think the complexity is even on the box. It says like 1 out of 10 as far as how difficult the game is to play. Um, but I do like the artwork. I do like Gudetama. I like the lazy egg. This is something that my wife really enjoys. It has a Christmas theme, which makes a great stocking stuffer. And uh, it's not, uh, there's no like real negatives towards this game other than just, it's kind of like a little bland. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of complexity. And as you play, you do get better as you play from game to game, but it then kind of, kind of stops once you understand the conceptual nature of the game and what's the best card to play on your turn. If you want a simplistic style card game that involves trick taking, if you really enjoy or are a fan of Gudetama, if you like that IP, if you want a Christmas theme, if you want to add a stocking stuffer to somebody who's never played a trick taking game, or maybe like mom or dad or grandma or grandpa are really into card games, this is no more complicated than Old Maid. It's, it's very simple. In fact, it's probably even easier than some of those games, Go Fish, so on and so forth. For those modern gamers out there who want a really like in-depth strategic trick taking game, this is not going to be for you. But if you want something to play with the family, to play with the kids, with a holiday theme that involves Gudetama, it's fun, it's cute, it works really well, and it does have strategy in it, which I do enjoy. I'll keep this in my collection for now, and I will play it when the Christmas time comes around, and then likely I'll probably give it to, a, to somebody for a gift that I know that they will enjoy playing with their kids, because for the most part, it's just a little too simplistic for me. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review of the game Gudetama, the tricky egg card game. It's very cute. I, I really do love the artwork for these games. I, I, I just, I'm a big fan of Gudetama and uh, Domo and all those Hello Kitty style uh, themes because I know my wife really enjoys them. So it's things I usually want keeping around for a while, but I do understand how people may uh, not, not so much into it because it's just not very complex. Um, and you can also go ahead and check out our website on filtergamer.com. We do blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, we review games just like this one, more complex ones generally speaking. And you can also check out our live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. This would make for a really good like in-between game when playing in my live stream, actually. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and, of course, the bell notification button. We do greatly appreciate it, and it helps us out a lot. But what also helps us out is Patreon. A $1 a month goes a really long way. And it also is great to see that you show your support to us, allowing us to continue to do live streams and those type of videos and extra content. We try and produce unique things like uh, showing you stuff from our new game, Moonshell, that's coming coming out, as well as additional new games that are going to be coming out from the unfiltered game side of the company. Regardless though, thank you so much for watching, and as always, Merry Christmas to you, and Gudetama next time.